Everyone gets tilted. But if you are constantly playing with a broken mental, this will halt your growth and will cause your skill to plateau or even worse, decline. That's why today, I'm here to bring you four tips to help you keep calm during your ranked games and bring your mentality to the next level. Let's get into it. Tip number one is to focus on your gameplay. The first thing people start to do when they tilt is blame others. But what if you're the problem? There's only one constant in every match you play, and that's you. So if you're on a bad losing streak, it's time to take the blame. Instead of going straight to flaming others, let's try a more productive approach. The next time you die in a game, think about where you died, how you died, and what you could have done better. Next, think about why you're either winning or losing the game, but from a more strategic perspective. Don't get this tilt in your head. Think about it from pure facts, why you're winning, why you're losing, and what you can do better. This will not only distract you from the things that are tilting you, but it will also help improve your individual gameplay. This process is also a vital stepping stone to help you get into reviewing your own footage, which is one of the best ways to help improve your individual gameplay. Don't sit there and flame your teammates. Think of a solution and get the wins. If you are constantly improving, you're going to do better, and you're going to get more wins, and you're going to tilt less. Applying these steps will make you forget all about your teammates inting all around you, and will help you get the wins that you deserve while improving your skill. Tip number two is to remember your goal. Once you've chosen the game that you want to dedicate your time to, it's time to start setting some goals. For me, I usually set a goal that I know is achievable, but failure is possible if I don't put the time in and if I don't stay focused. Hitting a certain rank, increasing your KD, or even just catching up to your friends are all great goals that will help you improve every single day. This goal is critical whenever you start to tilt because this will be your new anchor. Every time you tilt, it's important to remember that getting angrier will only slow you down from hitting your objective, and if you're constantly losing full and losing composure, you're not going to find that success that you're looking for. This tip has helped me tremendously whenever I start a new game. I recently started playing Halo Infinite, and I am booty butt cheeks. So it's time to set a goal. I've decided that I will be hitting Diamond by Christmas in Halo Infinite. This is a new game for me, so I'm really excited, but I also know that if I don't put the time in, I'm not going to hit that goal, and maybe I'll surpass it, who knows? But it's about having that goal to anchor back to so that you can be focused whenever you play. I can promise you that setting your goals and focusing in on them will help improve your mental and will eliminate tilt from your gameplay. One thing that I've learned is that if you want to improve in a game, you also need to be improving outside of the game. That's why tip number three is to make sure that you're being healthy and active offline. Physical activity and outdoor activities are some of the best methods to help with your mental health. So if you're consistently tilting, and let's be honest, throwing your games, it's probably time to take a break and go get some exercise. I'm not saying that you need to go get built like Wardell or Tyler1. Research shows that just 10 to 15 minutes of physical activity per day may make a difference. Ideally, implementing 30 minutes of exercise 3 to 5 days a week should be your goal. Alongside physical activity, it's really important to make sure that you're drinking lots of water and not just living off of McDonald's. Remember, G Fuel is a liquid, but it's not water. This balance will keep you in a good mood going into your games so that you can have the positive mindset that you need to get the wins that you deserve. Last tip of the video and the most important tip of the video is that ranked points aren't everything. Bigger number does not mean better person. As you climb up the ranked ladder, it's important that we don't get consumed by this little internet number. Your rank in a video game is not directly tied to your value as a person. I have struggled with this for years and I still struggle with this today. If I went home after a long day of school, homework, rehearsals, going to the gym, and I lost my first ranked game? It took a while to realize this, but if I get off after one game, I'm not going to get better. And my number dropping a little bit is not changing my value as a person. If you lose, it doesn't mean you don't deserve your rank. It just means you didn't play your best today. Whenever we focus on our MMR, we start getting tilted and we lose sight of our goal. The goal isn't to improve immediately, because that's not realistic. We've set our goals so that we have the opportunity to succeed. So don't go around beating yourself up because you didn't win your games today. Go back, watch the VODs, and get ready to win some games tomorrow. Not all of these tips will apply to everyone, and it's important to pick a balance that's right for you.
I don't expect a more casual grinder to be hyper-analyzing every little mistake they made, just like how I don't expect a League of Legends player to go touch grass. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you would like to see me do next. I really like this style of video. I think it's a lot more me. Uh, comment down below what you would like to see. I am at Punchy underscore OW on all platforms, and I will see you guys next time.